r slash relationships. Advanced underscore vanilla 1605 says. My 21 female, boyfriend 19 male, accused me of emotional cheating with his friend, but I don't think I was. Was I? Edit, not sure why the age is a massive issue. We started dating at 17 and 19. I had just turned 19, September, and he was turning 18, 4 months after that. We were in the same school, a year below. We are not from the USA, so we stayed in college slash school until 18, and then went to university. I have been with my boyfriend for 2 years now. This is a new situation, that has come up in our relationship. In this past relationship, his girlfriend cheated on him with his closest friend, they were basically family, despite him telling her his boundaries about talking to that specific friend. I supported him as a friend through this situation. He has the same boundary for me, which I have followed for 2 years now. Any conversation I have ever had with this friend, in person, has been very cut short and blunt, and I have never contacted him on any social media whatsoever. My boyfriend has my full permission to check if I have any DMS with this person, without there being any agreements or loss of trust. Now, he has another friend who will call G. G is one of his other very close friends, he is very polite and respectful of our relationship, and has never done anything to compromise it, or cross any own's boundaries. Me and G have like a sibling type relationship where we sometimes, not often, joke around and bully each other. We also talk about my relationship, and how much I adore him. G is a trusting friend who I can go to if I'm in need of advice, not relationships or anything overly personal, and my boyfriend is unavailable. I have zero romantic feelings towards him. Whenever I have a conversation with him on social media, I always show my boyfriend what we have talked about, or tell him the details, so he doesn't get left in the dark or feel betrayed. I also give him permission to look through my DMS with G. He never has, but knows if he needs to, he can. He is now comparing me to his ex-girlfriend, saying that I am crossing his boundaries and basically cheating. His boundaries only ever stated not to talk to that one friend of his, not G. Is this really considered emotional cheating? Too long, didn't read, I'm good friends with one of my boyfriend's friends. But he is accusing me of basically emotionally cheating due to a boundary he has about me not talking to a completely different friend. Is it emotional? Itamaya says. Hi Opus. I'm in my 30s. Way back in the day my BF had an emotional affair. This is what that looked like, BF. Hey, glad to see you're doing so much better. Ha, huh. thanks I'm healing slowly but surely. BF. Good for you, you deserve to be happy her, I'm learning that. How are you doing? Have you all gotten over the flu? BF, for the most part lol, but kids always bring stuff in. Ha, huh. fr, daycare is like sending them to be experimented on her BF, lol yes, I don't remember, being this sick in school her, nah definitely not this sick. But it wasn't like my mom let me stay home, so it didn't matter had her insert more casual nostalgic convo bf, do you remember so and so and so and so? Man it was crazy, huh, I know, I think I dated everyone in the group by the time we got to college, bf, now nah, we never dated. You and I were only friends her, lol you're right bf, I remember wanting to ask you out, but feeling like it would have been a bad step. Huh, or no I liked. You I just thought you weren't interested in me. Insert more casual point conversation. About young and dumb missing out on opportunities her, everything okay. Him, my wife just argues about everything. Today she's mad I forgot the dishes. First time in weeks. Ha, huh, that's tough. Have you talked to her about it bf? I try but every time I do she starts on this rant about me point making. Excuses and justifying. I'm not allowed to have or express any feelings. Huh, that sounds horrible. It's really unfair. Insert more about argument. Throws in some accusations for zest about 6 weeks later the convo started looking like let's think about meeting up and I want to leave. 
you should leave your fiance because it's tucked up. My wife is a monster. Your fiance is a monster. None of this is wrong, but we shouldn't let either of the PPL we share lives with know about these convos cause they'll freak out. The first part isn't the emotional affair. The emotional affair part is where they started confiding in each other and refusing to share these intimate thoughts and ideas with their significant others. Mentalfless1 says. If you stay with this guy be prepared to be controlled increasingly. He sticks with one arsehole friend and doesn't trust you or anyone else, so he seeks to control you. For some, that's great. Your decision. Stremendous says. It is important to know what created his suspicion of emotional cheating, other than his trauma and betrayal from the past. What event caused this to suddenly be an issue? Were you bringing up the friend all of the time in discussions? Were you hanging out one on one with the friend more? Did you compare your boyfriend to the friend? Did the boyfriend message something to you, or you to him, that feels too familiar and crosses the line for anyone who maybe has this worry and concern of infidelity already? Were you a bit careless in what you shared with the friend about your boyfriend or your romantic relationship? What specifically caused the concern? If you answer, then maybe we can help you deal with the scenario to best help your boyfriend and you. Google Echel and Darren Veidt says. I agree with a lot of comments here saying you're not necessarily doing anything wrong. From what you've said, it sounds as if your boyfriend is letting his fear control him, which forces him to try to control both the situation and you. I will say, though, that there may be some ways you can meet his needs should he prove willing to try and change this behavior. He may be feeling deprioritized in favor of your guy friend, if you're spending a lot of time talking to G, especially time you're with BF, or opening up about things BF doesn't know about, that could be making him insecure. I wouldn't call those things cheating, because I think demanding all of your partner's time, attention, or confidences is pretty unhealthy and unreasonable. But if he is feeling a lack of something in the relationship, a compromise, I won't text G, when we are spending quality time together might help fill that need. But make sure he also works on his trust issues, and need to control his anxiety, by controlling his external environment. Those things will hurt your and him in the long run. They can also lead to entitlement and dangerous behavior. Please be safe. R slash relationships. Throra underscore Beckett says. My 25 female, Kawaka 25 male, are super into each other. We can't be together. I 25 female, have developed a close relationship with Ryan 25 male. We meet through work about a year ago at a work conference, and I swear I felt it was love at first sight. I usually don't believe in that kind of stuff, but what we had, was electric from the start. We talked at the conference, but kept it professional. I noted I liked him, but he worked across the country, so it was easy not to obsess over him. Fast forward to the end of last year and has transferred to my work site. Though we are in different departments, we work on the same team together. We are very collaborative, and spend almost every day together. We work together very well, and are very successful in our careers. It's approaching the one year mark of us knowing each other, and am hopelessly devoted to this man. I have fallen so hard. For him and I genuinely don't know what to do. If I had to create a dream man, he would be it. We have amazing chemistry and everyone assumes we're a couple until we correct them. We are in the same social group and spend almost every weekend together. We have traveled internationally together, met each other's families, and pretty much are a couple besides doing the physical stuff. We have had multiple conversations now around how we both acknowledge we like each other, but there is too big of a risk if it doesn't work out. I will admit, has the one that is more hesitant to me and has made it clear, while we work for the same company, he will never consider a proper relationship with me. We're both young in our careers, and if we were to end things, it would be extremely messy. I think it is the mature responsible decision. But oh my god it sucks it hurts, 
to have someone I care about so close, but can't have in the way I want him. I can't avoid him, and I think that's part of the reason why I'm struggling so much. I don't want to keep pinning over a guy who more than likely will never be mine. How do I let my heart heal and not stay waiting around for this man? How do I convince my heart to know what my head is telling me? How do I get over the fear this is the best man I'll ever find and no one will ever compare to him? Too long, didn't read, Kawaka and I have admitted we have feelings each other. We both know we shouldn't pursue a romantic relationship, but I'm in pain over having him close, but not having him be mine. Please tell me it gets better. Cliff Jiff says. Don't bother to look for advice on this site it's so censored it's a waste of time. Guid427 says. I definitely discuss finding a new job and pursuing a relationship. But make C's on board with that plan. Dun Canada Hoskiller says. If he's against it then don't torture yourself over it. Personally I'm not as averse to workplace romances as the rest of Reddit. I know several couples who met at work and had long happy marriages, but in this case the guy said no way. It takes two consenting adults or else I'd be telling you to go for it. Change your off bits says. So, you two have basically been dating a year and it all looks good. I'm not sure what your field is, but switching companies isn't always a bad thing. In fact, it can unlock higher pay and opportunities that you can't get where you work right now. What I'm saying is that you should get your resume ready and test the waters. And what a breakup, if you two have to work closely together can be messy, you can mitigate that by moving companies, if it were to happen, or changing teams. Like, you two are only as likely to be working together closely as you're both trying to make that happen. You're early in your career, but people come and go, and things change, and your role will change over time. Clamade says. This reminds me of a guy I was hung up on for years. The best thing to do, is to let it go, and focus on yourself. You're both still really young, and there are, so many people out there. Dijon Pistachio says. This was me 7 years ago, except I was also in a relationship. I quit the job, ended the other relationship and 2 months ago we were married, and I've never been happier. Oriana Klein 21 says. Either get a new job, or start by not spending the weekends with him. Boran says. Maybe one of you should work elsewhere and be together. I met my wife of 13 years, when she was my direct manager, started dating in secret and I went elsewhere, so we could date openly. After working other places unhappily for a few years, and then being a stay at home dad during covered I'm happily working at a different company my wife now runs. Beneth says. Oh you guys, have basically been dating anyway. Just jump in, and get this over with. So Elfin says. It only gets better, when you stop treating this, like you're in some rom sitcom, where everything has to be as utterly dramatic as possible. On the plus side, the fact that both of you are being as equally ridiculously dramatic about this is probably another sign that you're compatible, so that's nice. Seriously though, just date each other already, and commit to acting like adults, if it doesn't work out backslash, that is, acting like mature reasonable adults backslash, not backslash dramatic backslash unfiltered I ain't here, to make friends adults. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.